Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I was having plenty of fun being a bird, flying all over the place. That fun is about to come to an end though, cause... As enjoyable as it would be just flying through the entirety of the final dungeon, it'll be more enjoyable if I actually take the time to solve the puzzles throughout. So, say goodbye to the bird form here. By the way, for those curious, no, you cannot use items whenever you are a bird, nor can you change what spell you have equipped. So you're not going to be a bird casting fire level 3. Speaking of spells, I have not yet tried out thunder level 3, so let me equip that. And... Speaking of being overpowered, I'm actually going to go ahead and equip the stone mask. Makes me invincible. And I know I said that I was kind of interested in having a challenge, but the stone mask seems like it would be a really fun item to use, and by golly, I want to use it. Not for the final boss, of course. I'll take it off before we fight the final boss, and maybe for a couple of obstacle-type puzzles where I should probably be taking damage. But when we're battling through the place, stone mask it is. By the way, I found out how the red green, the red cape and the green cape work. Uh, whether they actually boost your resistance to fire and earth spells, respectively, I don't know. I do know that they have quite the effect on physical defense and that sort of thing. It raises physical defense and evasion. This raises magical defense and evasion. Uh, I might just go ahead and un er, ignore them for the time being. I wonder how much they raise your evasion. Not really certain. While testing them out, I certainly wasn't avoiding attacks. Let's see, what else? Is there anything else? Mm, nope, I think we're ready to go to the final dungeon. Welcome back. Should we go to the Sky Garden? Yes. Then let's go. Nice that we get a little cutscene as of as a flying up. Of us flying up. And sure enough, maybe we could have actually flown up there as a bird. I mean not really, but We're finally here, Faust. We need to track down those magicians and make sure they don't find the crystal. Alright, I suppose I should do a little recap. So Elric is trying to track down a crystal, which he will use to open a sealed door, unleashing the demon, Dreath. We gotta make sure that don't happen. If they get their hands on it, it's game over. It would actually be an interesting twist if we actually hit the game over screen. I'm going to stay here and keep watch on the balloon. If you need to leave for any reason, just come back to me. As soon as you find those magicians, I'll come running, so don't worry. Good luck, Faust. How will you know that we found the magicians? Oh boy. I am hyped for this. Well, we definitely have a garden up here. Ooh, what's this? Got some bombs. I'm probably going to require those at some point. And a temple key? Oh, hi, hi! Considering this place is called the Sky Garden, there seems to be a whole lot of sky and not much garden. You're pointing that out a little bit early. We haven't gone inside yet. Inside is where it really stops being a garden. How is this place even floating up here anyway? I don't remember learning much about it at the School of Magic either. Clearly, they are hiding something. They just told us that it, well, existed. Not much beyond that. I'm actually quite disappointed. I was hoping the Sky Garden would be riding on the back of a mythical Sky Whale. That would have been cool, but I don't think RPG Maker XP includes a, such a thing. We'd have to draw it. Draw it. 
Anyway, you should hurry inside and find Elric. Who knows what he's up to? I do. He's trying to find the crystal so that he can un unleash Dreath. Where'd you go? Hold on a sec, where'd you go? You're teleporting around, aren't you? You're being sneaky. And welcome, my friends, to the final dungeon. Uh, which way do I want to go first? I can't remember. Well, I'm over on this side right now. Let's try this side. Is this a thing? Nope. Not getting in there. Can't reach that treasure chest yet. We got a floating platform. That's kind of cool. In case you're wondering, no, I don't think you can walk off the platform. I mean, you can walk off the ledge of the cliff, which, by the way, you are not invisible, invincible to fall damage. Okay, cross it. Yeah. So, yeah, no invisible bounds on ledges. Keep that in mind. Oh, I was right, we do need bombs. Bombs, 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 bombs. Will that get all of them? They got all of them. And this will be the key to the other side. Okay, simple so far. Oh, hey, there's those angels. Oh, I don't have to block anything. Oh, they're kind of like the demons. They hop around. They also potentially have a strong attack. I gotta know, how strong would that attack be normally? Considering my celestial equipment, probably not going to cause too much damage. Or not at all. Do I really need the stone mask? Not really, but... I'll equip it anyway, while also taking care of you. So these are what we get angel wings from, which would be helpful towards making something. At this point, I forget what I wanted to craft with, because I no longer need to craft it. I'm just going to casually walk around while having these eyeballs chase on me. I doubt they'd be causing much damage either, anyway. Okay, starting off on the right then. Incidentally, because I have the stone mask equipped and not the energy ore, that means my stamina is going to be going... Re recovering a little bit slow. Ooh, we need arrows. How many arrows do I have? I forgot to buy arrows. Well, I'm not using this in the final battle. Oh, there is another spell here. Gimme, give gimme. Give Haste. What's that? Raises movement speed for a short duration. Might as well try it out. So here's my regular walking speed. And... I'm sorry, what is this doing again? Wait. Did Haze fail against me because I was using the, the stone mask? Hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, no, I gotta check something now. So, oh, I was hoping I had a regular potion on hand. Okay, when you're invincible, you can't use anything to help yourself. That's kind of funny.
Now, whether that is a drawback of significance, I'm not entirely certain. Because if I'm invisible, I don't really need to heal. But that also means you're probably not going to be using any buffs to make your attack stronger or anything like that. Again, does it necessarily matter? Don't know. Because even if you're taking out an enemy slow, they're not harming you. Well, you got plenty of health, don't you? Shield. Why do I need the shield? Okay. Let me go ahead and take this off. Give myself a little bit of a challenge here. Along with the energy orb. How much damage does that co? Oh! Okay, yeah. For this sort of thing, removing the mask is important because I need to actually have a little bit of a challenge getting through here. Okay, that's not a thing you can attack. Oh, I remember this. Okay, let's see if I can time this. Oh gosh, time indeed. They start moving again after a moment. Boy, I couldn't have timed that worse. Okay, no blocking my path, please. Thank you, bye. Oh, need more bombs. Put that there. Put that there. I'm guessing I'm gonna go to the right first, because I probably don't have a key for the left. I wonder if we'll find a use for the hammer in this dungeon. Haven't needed it in since the second dungeon. As far as I remember, anyway. Okay, I'm not pushing that anywhere. Yes, I am. I'm pushing it up. Well, before I push it up... I see that up there. So, pushing this... is going to allow us to have that key. Boing! <laughs> That's actually kind of a fun way to grab a key. You almost expect that to be a trap. Once again, I could just walk right on through with the stone mask, but... No, when it comes to obstacles, stone mask is staying off. Oh! Oh! See, I thought I could walk behind there. And, uh, by the way, my last save was at the start of this episode. Oops! Save often! Whoa! How did I not, not notice this before? An extra small key? Well, where does this go then? Oops. Well, that's what happens when you bump into those. They even reset some so they're moving again. Okay, obvious question. 
Am I able to use the stone mask to survive these? Yep, I certainly am. So what threw me off is I can walk here, but apparently not here. Maybe that wall should expand a little further up to indicate that you're not walking behind there. Okay. Should be simple enough. Oh, gosh, the timing is tight. Thankfully, there's some forgiveness with your hitbox. Okay, just so that I don't have to do that again. Saving again. Oh, I, re I remember this. I don't remember the solution. Also, you're not taking a hit while you're flying across, so that's some good information. Okay. Love the... That's a good thing I saved. Uh, this is another room where bird would be OP. Okay, fine. Let's go this way. Wait. No. I was on the right track before. This way. But then the... That's certainly punishing, I tell you what. Not necessarily in a bad way. As long as you remember to say, Eve. You know, I should consider using my uh, my shield. When I land, shield up. Oh. Wait. Shield up, but face the correct direction. More importantly, you need to press the shield button after you land, because it's not coming out if you press it before you land. Okay. Up. Well, I didn't really have much of a chance to... actually defend myself there. If you do that again, I'm putting on the stone mask. Okay, that time I actually had apple opportunity. Okay, I don't know the best way to time that, so... Okay, so those lead backwards, and this is the way to get forward. I would try this legitimately, but the timing of landing and immediately being sniped... Eh... Would be helpful if at the very least I could prepare my shield as I jump. That would at least give me a chance. More importantly, if I was facing the correct direction when I was landing. get to that. Oh, that's how I get to that. Magic essences. I think those are created to... are, are used to create potions? I think...
So far, I have not found a door to use this extra key that I found. Hopefully, I've not passed the door up. Okay. So, those lead backwards, and this is the way to get forward. I'll have to keep an eye out for one in editing. Oh, you actually need the haste belt. Energy orb will also be helpful. So what does this do? That's what it does. I can't remember what happens when you run out of time. I'm pretty sure you don't, like, get a game over or something, though. But I wanted to save just in case. And kind of take a look here what happens. What am I dealing with as I go along here? Well, it seems like- oh! Keep that in mind. Okay, there's something up there that's blocking my passage. Start by hitting that. Ah! Oh. Wait, I still have time! I thought that- For some reason, I thought that might reset my position back to the start of the room. Okay, well that was kind of a little fun distraction. Also, I did not have to dodge around that pillar. Oh, memorization. Oh, I was kind of nervous about that. So how do we get to that one then? Okay, wait for that to wear out so that I have a fresh start, and then I'll go back and look. Gives me ample time to look. Or is it just gonna stay? I think it's just gonna stay. It's just gonna stay. I'm okay with this. And my prize is... Love Essences. Probably not gonna use those. Now, if you hadn't won the thing that you need the love essences for, I suppose that would be coming in handy if you were willing to leave the final dungeon and go back. Here we go again. Let me see here. Is that crystal teleporting me back to the start of the map? Yep. In case I fail, I don't have to worry about making my way all the way back. Okay, let's kind of be a little bit more careful. I, sh I should have used my hookshot to get across. That would have saved a little bit of time. Okay, let's avoid running where I can- Oh! Run! 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 I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I didn't make it. Thank you, Teleport Crystal. That's not helpful. 
I'm gonna die just from attempting this puzzle. Nope. Well, that's not how to... We, oh, gosh. How did I do so much better on the first one? Up here, up here, up here. Carefully. Okay, doing better now. This time I got it. can even walk the rest of the way. And... Oh boy. We made it to this point. This is actually looking kind of like the entrance to a boss arena. It's actually not. There's no boss in here, but... As it turns out, we're actually close to the boss. So... I should probably actually go ahead and end this episode right here. A little bit abruptly, I know, but trust me. Next time, the finale begins. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you the next one.